What's up, everybody? It's your boy Zell Jackson back at it again. A uh, quick little update before we get into the video. Either next video or the video after is going to be my last Apex content video. Um, mainly because I just haven't had the time to actually fully invest my time into the game or streaming. I recently just stopped streaming on Twitch and I'm working on getting more into YouTube. And not only am I working on getting in YouTube, but I'm becoming more of a just chatting type of person. I'm going to react to more videos. I'm going to do more storying times. And, well, I hope you guys stick through while I still... I'm still me. I'm still going to do the, I'm still going to be doing gameplay. I'm still going to be playing the game. But I just won't be posting it as often. Um, but... Hope you guys liked the video today. We're gonna react to what's his name again? Hold on. We're, we're reacting to Chef 03, and it's about the current state of Ski Master Slump Guide. The video link will be in the description. And well, if you don't like me reacting to it, go ahead and check him out. Pretty cool. So let's get right into it. Let's get right into it. Ski Mask, the Slump God, was a pillar of the SoundCloud rap era, but at this point he's definitely surpassed the label of being called a SoundCloud rapper. He has a massive list of hits and- Hold on, I, I need, I need to put my do-rag real quick bro, cause this, this calls for a do-rag bro. Nah, matter of fact, I'm gonna Johnson, that was Johnson. You feel me? You feel me? Hmm. 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 Do rag, bro. Apple walking, bro. Nah, I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm jigging. I'm jigging. I'm jigging. I'm jigging. I'm jigging. But I'm still looking for my do rag, bro. But it's alright. Let's go again. Let's go continue. He's collaborated with many other legendary rappers of our generation. With his last official album being released almost five years ago, he hasn't been very active when it comes to putting out new music, only releasing a handful of singles and a mixtape two years ago. Well, honestly, he is on like a like a year after, or like, no, not even a year. He doesn't even post the album every year. He just posted every couple of years like every two years it's crazy that's crazy years ago and i think this is one of the reasons that a lot of people ask the question is ski mask the slump god still relevant or has he fallen off hell no it seems like nowadays people think just because a rapper isn't in your face 24 7 on social media or involved with drama that it means right. an artist fell off which i don't necessarily agree with so in this video, we'll be discussing if Ski Mask the Slump God is still relevant and looking at two reasons that might explain why he's not releasing as much music these days. Well, honestly, it may be because a lot of the songs that he's putting out gets copyright strike. <laughs> a lot of them get copyright strike. Like literally, hold on. Let's let's look at let's look up the albums. The albums that he put out, right? Uh, okay. Duplicate tab. We're gonna pause this. Pause right. And we're gonna type in ski mask. Ski mask is slim good. Look at his album. So obviously Stokely was his biggest, biggest, biggest album. And then right after that, he posted Sin City, right? 
But if you look at Beware of the Book of Eli, most of the beats on the Beware of Book of Eli was taken down. And it doesn't help that this whole this whole uh this whole album right here, this one, Freddy vs. Jason, the whole collaboration album with X can't even be listened to on SoundCloud or Spotify. Oh, well, they can be listened to on SoundCloud, but they can't be listened to on Apple Music or Spotify. So this is like, you know, what what's the point? What's the point if either my shit's not going to get all the way put out or or my shit's going to get copyrighted? What the fuck am I supposed to do? If you're watching this video, I'm going to assume that you're already pretty familiar with Ski Mask. So right. I'll plan to highlight some stuff, but I won't be diving into his entire come up or life story for this video. If that's something that you would like to see in a separate video, comment and let me know. For most of us, Juvenile Hall would be considered a step in the wrong direction early on in life. But this wasn't the case for Ski Mask, because this is where he would meet and become close with XXX Tentacion. After they got out Right, they were like brothers. Out of Juvie, these two broke the internet with their aggressive, mosh style hits uploaded to SoundCloud back in 2015. Their unique style was known for its energetic sound, which blends elements of trap, punk, and hardcore rap. Ski Mask yep. has a signature ad lib style of rapping, which features a lot of repetition and rapid fire rhyming. At this point, he's been imitated by many other artists, and his innovative approach to music has definitely inspired some of the new generation of rappers to experiment with new sounds and styles, further pushing the boundaries of what hip-hop can be. Ski Mask's success as an artist has been impressive, with several hit songs and millions of streams across all platforms. I, I kind of knew Fossil Failure was going to be, like, the biggest out of all of them. Why? Because it has the most catchy hook out of all of them. Literally, the most catchy hook. Well, it, it's in it's in competition between Nuketown and Fossil Failure. Mainly because the Juice World fans would love that. <laughs> Juice World fans will just go skyrocket that shit. But Honestly, I'm surprised. I'm surprised Foot, Foot Fungus is, is over Costa Rica. Because this Dreamville, this Dreamville cast, bro, was was crazy. Maybe not Smoke Perp, but, you know, Cost, the Costa Rica... Can't talk. <laughs> the Costa Rica song was actually pretty cool. Yeah, you could have fucking put that over Foot Fungus. I mean, they're actually kind of close to... Kind of close and yeah. If we were to take a look at his Spotify today, he still has over 9 million monthly listeners, and that's just on right. one platform alone. He's also been recognized with award nominations and has performed at major music festivals, securing his. Bro, he still performs at Rolling Loud, and then like he may not fully perform at Coachella, but he at least has like a couple of songs that people. Fucking what you call it? They go back to, <laughs> like they they literally it's either it's either him X or Juice that they like play their songs, and it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. His status as an important figure in the industry. Overall, Ski Mask the Slump God's contributions to music have been significant, and he's collaborated with a long list of high-profile artists such as X, Lil Baby, Lil Yachty, Trippy Red, Oliver Tree, Chief Keith. Juice World, and many, many more. He even made a song for the soundtrack of the box office film Spider Man Into the Spider Verse, which had an awesome soundtrack. There are two main reasons I, ain't gonna lie, I dude. believe Ski Mask may have taken his foot off the gas pedal when it comes to music, and both are somewhat personal reasons. The first is the most well known and maybe obvious at this point, which is the death. Bro, he lost both friends, bro. Like these, like those three were all brothers, bro. Like they were all cool, bro. Like cool enough that they really knew each other's ma, pops, and then all the all the other people, right? Their whole family, they knew each other like a family, bro. Like, bro, they could all walk in each other's houses and say what's up, and then kept on going, bro. Like he lost both of them 
within a couple of months of each other, bro. So right after he's getting rid of he's getting rid of the pain and death the pain and suffering of one friend, then he has to get over the pain and suffering of another friend. Like what? Of two close friends within the past five years. He's experienced the loss of several friends and fellow artists within the music industry, but there are two specific losses that I believe may have impacted him the most. First was friend and fellow rapper XXX Tentacion, who was shot and killed yep. in 2018. Ski Mask has spoken publicly about the impact that X's death had on him and the grief that he experienced as a result. After X passed away, Ski began to develop a friendship with a new artist, Juice World. The two had become very close friends and collaborators, working on songs and an unfinished project together. Just a little over a year after X had passed away, Juice World overdosed and died in 2019. The loss of a loved one can have a significant impact on a person's mental health and overall well-being. Mm -hmm. Grief is a complicated emotion and a challenging experience. Within the industry, there definitely seems like a lack of mental health initiatives or resources available. The second reason that Ski may have slowed down with music is his physical health. Back in 2018, he shared on social media that he would be having surgery over his heart. He tried to make light of the situation and he referred to it in a joking way and called the health condition a fat boy disease. But even though he was downplaying it, it seemed like a rather serious thing because he asked for prayers and many of his friends responded that they would be providing them. It's still not publicly known what exactly the disease is. And that's fine because it's really not our business. Whoa, bro. Well, yeah, makes sense, bro. Chill out. Yeah, bro. <laughs> we can't lose another rapper. We lost way too many. I would be so sad, bro. Like, X, X, Ski, and Juice, like, had, like, a big impact in me growing up. Uh, Like, it was... Especially as a ball player, like they always had uh, that type of hype music that you need to go into the game and just dominate. But they like, even without that, when they were actually evolving into their into their different perspectives, their different how do you say it, their different genres, it still helped a lot to get over breakups, deaths, to get rid of the pain in your heart and then all this other stuff it helped it helped me move past it if ski mass died bro <laughs> bro that shit would be so tough bro that shit would be so hard to get over with bro uh, i don't know uh it'd be crazy It'd be a crazy situation but it's no secret that ski did not treat his body like a temple in his early years aside from his habit of smoking cigarettes he claims that he used to abuse prescription drugs like xanax pretty heavily perhaps ski mask has just been focusing more on his physical and mental health over the past few years self-preservation mm, and it's commonly overlooked by teenagers and young people in general because sometimes your body doesn't start to show the wear and tear until years down the road Regardless of why Ski Mask has slowed down on making music, I think it's safe to say that he's still relevant. He recently performed at Rolling Loud California, and not only did he crush it, but it looks like everyone was going wild as Ski carried his signature and contagious energy with him throughout the entire set. I believe that Ski Mask the Slump God is still relevant in hip hop and hasn't fallen off. I'll continue to look forward to new music from Ski. Let me know if you're in the same boat. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Also, check out some of my other ones on the channel. I upload hip hop related content every week. Bro, that shit is fire, bro. But, uh, Ski, bro? Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. I'd be crushed if Ski passed away, bro. Like, devastatingly crushed, bro. Yeah, bro. How many? How many? How many rappers did we lose within the past five years? We lost X Juice. We lost Pop Smoke, Nipsey Hussle.
Who else we lost? It was a lot. It was a lot, bro. We lost a lot. Oh, King Von. That's crazy. We like rappers are. I don't know. I don't know because like X was moving out of the gang life. Ski was already out of the gang the gang life. Just as died over overdose. But all all the other rappers died because of some bullshit, bro. Literally died over bullshit. Right. Like there's there's difference. Like I I I'm gonna talk about it right now, since you know, this is a YouTube video, not really a Twitch thing. But the shit that Job and Rant is going through. You are not in the hood. You weren't raised like that, bro. You were not raised like that. You're not in the hood. You literally was a suburban child. You're literally from, I'm not going to say the Bronx, but you're, you're literally from the suburbs. There wasn't really any crime around you, but yet you want to act like you're really hood, but you're not really hood. Really, you're just a dumbass. Literally, you have all this money. You have all this money, this prime opportunity to elevate yourself as a human being, but yet you're being stupid as hell. Literally, you're literally being stupid. There's nothing else that I can even say except for you being stupid. You had this prime opportunity to get out of the situation that you were in. You are making money for you, your family, and anybody else. It's all right owning guns, having security and all that, especially since you're an NBA player. You're literally one of the highest played, paid. You're literally one of the highest paid athletes overall. Overall. It literally don't make sense. Why are you acting like that? Why are you bringing guns to the club? Why are you flashing this? Why are you doing this? No wonder you're getting, one, drug tested, two, suspended from games, and three, you might even get kicked out of the league. Where, therefore, rappers that have been in a situation like this all their life, it makes sense. Because this is all they know. You know something else. You've been playing ball. You've gotten yourself into a situation where you didn't have to be in that exact situation but yet you were too stupid uh, let's just let's just fucking <laughs> yeah well with that said and done i'll catch y'all later it's been your boys old jackson y'all have a great rest of your day peace <laughs> peace out